द डायग्राम गिवन बिलो शोज अ स्काय जम्प अ स्कायर वेट सिक्सटी के जी एफ स्टैंड एट पॉइंट ए एट द टॉप ऑफ अ स्काय जम्प ही मूव फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए एंड टेक्स ऑफ फ्रॉम द पॉइंट बी नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द चेंज इन द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द स्कायर बिटवीन ए एंड बी इफ सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी इन पार्ट ए विच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड बिकम कनेटिक एनर्जी एट पॉइंट बी कैलकुलेट द स्पीड एट विच द स्कायर अराइव एट बी नो केयरफुली सी द क्वेश्चन हेयर एट ए पॉइंट स्कायर जम्प स्टैंड नो फ्रॉम ए पॉइंट ही मूव एंड टेक्स ऑफ फ्रॉम द पॉइंट बी वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द विलोसिटी एट पॉइंट बी and change in gravitational potential energy so now let's calculate the diagram given below here we have to calculate the change in the gravitational potential energy between a and b so change if i'm talking about delta p delta p you can represent with capital p potential energy as potential energy at point a minus potential energy at point b so potential energy at point a we have mg height at point a minus mg height at point b so here they have given the weighted 60 kg f it means they have given as mass as 60 kg so weight if i'm talking about w is equals to mg so we have to calculate mg that is 60 into g g value we will take as 10 okay so g value we will take it as 10 so here 60 into 10 height we have 75 minus 60 into 10 height we have 15 so when you will solve you will get 36000 joule now let's convert it into a standard form so here you will write 36 into 10 raised to power 3 joule so now here you need a decimal divide by 10 multiply with 10 so here you will got 3.6 into 10 raised to power 4 joule so this is the change in the gravitational potential energy between point a and b next we have to see if 75% of the energy in part a become kinetic energy at b calculate the speed at which the sky arrives at b now carefully see they are saying if 75% of the energy 0.75 means 75% of the energy which is we, which we have calculated in the first part which is 3.6 into 10 raised to power 4 joule is converted into kinetic energy at point b so we have to calculate the velocity at point b so now here if you will solve 75 by 100 so 36 by 10 and 10 raised to power 4 kinetic energy at point b we have half m v b square okay so from here 1 2 3 1 2 3 this 2 is multiply on that side 75 into 36 into 10 into 2 mass value we given as 60 and v b square now 60 just divide it with 60 75 30 10 2 divided by 60 v b square cancel it out so here you will got 150 into 6 v b square here we have so here it become 900 so v b square we have 900 so v b we got it as velocity at point v we have under root 900 which is 30 so velocity at point b we got it as 30 meter per second clear